Okay, guys, as promised, Diamond City. Sounds like conflict. Yeah. Um. Super mutants. Cool. Huh? Not hiding this time. Wow, that is some red bone. <sighs> Course. I don't think I was looking at my health. And I'm here. Let's do this again, but better. Cool looking shotgun. You know what? I think I'm not gonna go that way. There you go, buddy.
Jeez. Come on. There we go. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I hope so. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor.
Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the laws. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The Institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Got a question? Should talk to Sullivan. Damn. That's cool. This place is bright as that. Hey, hey kiddo. kiddo. How are the How paper, paper sales? sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if you don't replace it. Uh, you've been, you've been saying, saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start, you start whistling, whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the colony. So what are you looking for, huh? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. Hey, who you You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. 
The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. The latest hairstyles from the upper stands. Wow. Is there a gun place? Nope. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. You sound like a drug addict, dude. Nuka Cola. Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so close to like level six. You know what? I'm just gonna shop somewhere else. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Where it travels fast. The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Self-defense at its best. Hmm. Very tempting, although I do not have 10,024 caps. You don't even have 10,024 caps. I ain't got nothing I want. I need like three more adhesive. Shop in safety. No sense allowed at the surplus. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. I think I could come up with something for that. Hmm. Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? A spotter. We buy and sell everything to everyone except sense. No sense allowed here. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale.
Don't be caught dead. Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Sim three shopping right here. Swatta 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 can hit. Boom. Dang, bro. I just need some screws. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scope, clip size, barrel. Keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. I don't know. Are you really uh, human? What if I say no? Hold on. No, I'm Changles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Oh. Now I can't buy stuff. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Been saving. No sins allowed at the surplus. Think straight. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? P -p -pro probably not. What do you say? Okay. Maybe this will be a fresh start. Yeah, just... Don't drink everything. You then! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. Oh, See, boy. It, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. Mm -hmm. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. Okay. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. You know what? I I don't think that's... Yeah, um... Look, dumbass. That's not how baseball was played. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? Let's tell you... what actually happened. There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. He kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I like my version better. Now, well, your version can sucks. I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Man, I'm just work? looking for work. Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him 
with a baseball, catch his mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? Hmm. A hundred caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your mind. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? I... A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Let's see where's uh, that science. Wait, but Wolfgang's dead. That a real ball suit? Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. You got nothing better to do? Nope. 